Alright. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Peter from Peter and Me Games. Once again, recording a video for you. It's a Minecraft one, and there has been a new, well, a new marketplace creation come out. Yeah, literally yesterday. Well, on the 27th, as at the time of recording this, I would have had my birthday on the 29th. Oh, soundtrack's good for this. Anyways, yeah, birthday. Well, when um, when I say it's birthday, today. Hello there. Welcome to the giant dinosaur adventure. I'm Nigel Marvin, and I'll be taking you on a tour around this amazing prehistoric landscape. Why not take a moment to look around base camp? Here in the scrubland, there are young conifer trees, probably fresh growth after a volcanic eruption. This is a great food source for herbivorous dinosaurs. Yeah, um, yeah. The dense carnivorous forest is much more mature than the surrounding scrubland. It's probably been much longer since the last volcanic eruption here. Yeah, um, yeah, as I said, um, by the time this video is uploaded, it will be the 29th, which means it will be my birthday, so this is a birthday video. Also, um, just want to give a quick shout out to Compcraft, who created the Minecraft Marketplace add on Giant Dinosaur Adventure itself, and for allowing me to record this video. I will be making a Dinosaur Ranch, hopefully, in survival, doing a bit of exploring. Yada yada, so on and so forth. And yeah, also big shout out to Nigel himself because he voiced. This is this. an iguanodont, one of the most common herbivorous dinosaurs in this time. Their kind have existed since the mid Jurassic and will continue to walk the earth right up until the late Cretaceous, colonizing every single continent from Europe to Antarctica. The name Iguanodon literally means Iguana Tooth. They got this name because they evolved a battery of chewing teeth, similar to our molars, that enabled them to grind up tough vegetation. Bruh, I, I did not need to know that. <laughs> I, I didn't need to know the fact that they, um, they were able, they had molars that were pretty much like didn't need to know that. Well, let's take sandwiches, cause why not? Let's go find some. Let's go find out what we need to do. Jesus! And here I was thinking, this is where we get resources and all that. Um, where's the book for it? I'm already lost as to what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh my god, I can't remember what I'm supposed to do. Um, I don't particularly want to hit this thing, because I know it's going to absolutely own me. Uh, right. This plane can get a bird's eye view of the surrounding area. Do you know what? I'm gonna go into third person mode for this. Oh lord, don't wanna do that again. Oh wow, this is actually pretty good. I'm not just saying that because Compi allowed me to make a video on this. I'm actually surprised at how good this is because we, we all know what marketplace content creations are like. This is Chocosaurus, a member of the Titanosaur group. That long neck is a feature found in most sauropods. They use it to feed at the tops of trees where no other creatures can reach. The Titanosaur group includes the largest animal ever to have walked the earth. 
It's the reason we're here in Cretaceous Argentina. But Chocon saw... Look at that, a snake. At this point in time, snakes have been around for just over 50 million years. Their earliest known ancestors lived during the Jurassic and were thought to have evolved from... That over there is Trauchosaurus, an abelosaur. Unlike some of its abelosaur relatives elsewhere, Trauchosaurus wouldn't have been at the top of the food chain in these parts. Instead, it would... If you look above, you can see pterosaurs circling in the sky. No, I don't They'll be looking look for above, a carcass to scavenge. Pterosaurs, like some species of birds, can travel huge distances on the wing in search of food. They remind me of modern-day condors and vultures. So, this off-road vehicle can cover ground much quicker than I could walk. Yeah, so, as, as I was saying earlier, yeah, my, uh... You haven't yet discovered this oh. creature. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, so, as I said, 29th of my birthday, hallelujah. A year older. Um, I will explain tomorrow as to why I've been absent for a while. Um, it might actually shock you, but no, I'm not going to be too dramatic about it. Wow, so this is Dinosaur Gallery, pretty much. I'm already liking it. I'm already liking it. You haven't yet discovered this feature. Well, sir, why is there a dinosaur? What's this dude doing here? Come on. Let's see how the car turns. Yeah, it's pretty good. Been enjoy myself a little bit of a drive before uh before trying to run for my life from any dinosaurs. What is he now? Oh my god. So I'll fight back. What is this thing? Look! That's a Tora Venator, okay. a medium-sized Carcharodontosaur, a close relative of the apex predator here, Maposaurus. Like its what? other relatives, Tora Venator was equipped with serrated knife-like teeth, perfect for cutting flesh. At this size, this it's unlikely Tora Venator would have hunted the larger sauropods. It may have preyed on the young ones, though, or hunted smaller herbivores, such as the iguanodonts, instead. This is another iguanodont, Anabacetia. It's much smaller than the ones we've seen previously. Whereas the larger species feed on the taller conifers, this little one mostly feeds on ferns and other ground-level vegetation. Iguanodonts are one of them. That's oh, an Aeoniraptor. Despite its name, it's not related to the famous Velociraptor. It's a member of the group Megaraptora. Most theropods evolve shorter arms and use their bite as their main means of tackling prey. But Aeoniraptor, as you can see here, has long, powerful arms. The Megaraptorans use their claws as their primary weapon. A complete yeah. Megaraptoran fossil skeleton has never been unearthed. So it's quite amazing to see one in the flesh. Yeah, trust me, you wouldn't want to come across a Megaraptor. I think we all know how it ends. 
Um, yeah, let's just say it ends with um, it ends with it <laughs> with us becoming like maybe I don't know uh, a good a good meme that we all know of by now. Iona Raptor is like it's it's dangerous. Iona Raptor. Trust me, you you get in between the jaws of that thing, yeah, you're not coming out of the jaws. Did we discover anything else while we were there? Um, I cannot remember the life of me if we did. Uh -huh. Which is good. Alright. Wait, what the put There's a plane. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna mess around with the dinosaurs at this. I did say I was gonna build a ranch, so. It's gonna be a bit long and tedious, but, you know, it gets the job done. So let's get and do it now. For, uh,. Before I end up forgetting. And I need to get my chair done because it's very squeaky. I hate when it happens like that. Oh, this is Bruce Wood. It's got different texture to it. That's pretty cool. It's pretty good. Uh, um, yeah, no, it's unbelievable. Tomorrow's my birthday. I'm working at CAF. And I, I don't mind it, but I just I just feel like I need a day off for some reason. Like it's my birthday. I've not celebrated it in like a few years. And uh, this year's no exception. I'm waiting until the 21st to celebrate because you know I want to save up for you know for a bit of a decent one. One that, um, one that I can like find myself, invite people to, and just have a bit of a fun time. But, you know, it's, it's gonna be like that. And uh, we've all gotta watch what we spend at the moment because in the UK we're going through an economic crisis. Just like everywhere else in the world at the moment. Unfortunately, we have a new Prime Minister who's already just done harm to the earth. And I, I don't understand it, like, a lot of people, right, I get it, a lot of people want, like, renewable energy, and a lot of people don't like renewable energy, simply because they think that people who like renewable energy are just little snowflakes. But renewable en renewable energy is sustainable. And what Liz trusts us on is she's unbanned fracking, which basically allows people to drill holes in the earth and use natural gas for energy pretty much along those lines. And it just a second. Anyways, yeah, um, yeah, so, this trust wants to, un well, has unbanned fracking, which causes, causes disruption to the, sh the layer of shale in the earth, which can be very detrimental to it. Why is there just a random wandering trade up it? What's on the ground? What is this on the ground? This is Kaikai Philosaurus. Oh my god. Quite a mouthful to pronounce. It's adorable. It's a member of a group of reptiles known as the Rhynchocephalia. Adults can grow up to around one meter long, a size that in modern times would be seen as moderately large for a lizard. 
But here in the Mesozoic, this little creature lives in the shadows of the reigning group of reptiles, the dinosaurs. The Rhynchocephalia group is still with us today, although only one member remains, New Zealand's Tuatara. Today, it's commonly called a living fossil. Yeah, this is why we shouldn't be hunting species, and this is why I think that extinction sucks. Okay, so... Pretty much got a place to set up camp. And to build a ranch. Which is just literally here. I mean, we've got the camp all set, the camp's all set up already. All we just need to do is build a ranch, and that's just a little bit of a hut, and, well, a little bit of a cabin, a, uh, and uh, a nice little pen for the, uh, for the animals to learn. I'm going to keep that open. Uh, where, do I, where do I build it? I, I could just... Slide behind it here and build it here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna build it here. I'm gonna go for it. I don't particularly care how it looks, to be honest, because at the end of the day, it's Minecraft. It's a game. You unleash all creativity. Uh, something that I completely lack. Alright. Alright, let's craft find a lot of spruce spruce wood up and spruce planks, get that turned into craft and tell you. Why do I hear boss music? calm music. I know, it's gonna take a while for me to set up this, uh, to set up the room. And, uh, I know it's gonna be boring watching me just play through it completely by making a ranch and this it's boring having to build it because it's long and tedious, not in creative mode. You can't unleash everything that I want to. But, no, it gets the job done. I was only intending for it to be half an hour, for this video to actually be half an hour, but it's gonna go out the window because I've been ranting that much. I, I can just draw it all for hours if, if someone lets me, which is. it's ridiculous. Kidding me. You have. Are you kidding me? Fence posts. How many are there? That was only five. Oh well. Tedious.
Yeah, so, um, yeah, a um, bit of news that kind of hits close to home in a few ways. My old science teacher from my school, not too far down the road from me, got found out to be a bit of, um, bit of a weirdo. By that, I think we all know what I mean. Here we go. Uh, can I craft? There we go, a nice lovely stack of oak, of oak wood. Uh, I don't do modern builds because they're not my kind of thing a lot of the time. But what I want to try and do is I want to try and give it like a little bit of depth if I can. Do want to put that there? Oh, I don't want that one there. Oh. God, the other lag spikes on this are unbearable. So, um, can't wait to go gaming on top because then that way I can upload higher quality videos without this dude staring me in the face. I don't even know if that dinosaur is a dude or not. I don't particularly want to find out either. Go. Let's put the crafting table down here. I didn't. Uh, always in need of wood. Door. What is booting up on my laptop? I didn't ask for anything to boot up. Go. I forgot, we've already got one spruce sap well, one oak sap There we go. That's going to help out a lot. If we just head back to base camp, we can get build a bit more in the morning. Once, uh, once my character's gone, a bit full rest. There we go. Let me in. There was a cake there. That's pretty nice. Oh. Go. Uh, let's move this grey bed into what will be the cabin. Yeah, I don't mind how it looks at the moment. It's not, it's not the best, but it, it does the trick. Uh, set respawn point. Yeah, I definitely think I could do a bit more with this. Yeah, I definitely think I could do a bit more with this, but... Music's pretty good though, I'm not gonna lie about that. It's pretty good music. Alright, 
right, so I'm hoping that with any luck I can get this cabin done easily by uh, probably um probably like ten. I don't know. If I do this, yeah, if I do it like that, then I should technically have enough room for, um, just do that like that, there we go, respawn point is set, yeah, there we go, it's a bit, got a bit of depth. I kind of want to add in some, uh, I kind of want to move these and put stairs here. Just to give it that bit more of a modern feel to it. But I know if I do that, then I have to have at least, uh, um, how many. Oh, that's a rip off. So Minecraft, I just don't agree with that. Like six planks for four steps. I don't, I don't agree with that. Okay, where to put the vehicles? There's one there. Did I leave the car over there? I did. I left the vehicle there. Oh my. Uh, I don't know what I'm about to say. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if someone wants to go, if someone wants to work, then they can. But. Like, don't feel obligated that you have to unless you're on a contract. Because... You shouldn't feel the need to have to work, you should feel the need to want to work, which is... It's really just, like, if you don't have that need, if you don't feel the want to work, then you can't really work that well field but it's just due to oh my god yeah another reason why we glad that get game lots of so I can stop having that kind of problem where WASD keys keep going in for it. So I modified my laptop but given it 16 gigabytes of RAM it's probably caught in the cable somewhere. Oh well uh I'll probably be able to afford one by Christmas. <laughs> uh, yeah, this year's um, it's been a different year. It has it has really been a different year. Um, I don't usually like talking about personal life on the channel, but I'll just. I'm just going to get a brief explanation as to why I've not played them as much as I'd like to have done. Um, the first reason why is because of lack of motivation. I was just... I just couldn't motivate myself too much, to be honest. It was, uh... You know, lazy is a four-letter word. It wasn't me not wanting to do it, it was a matter of me just not caring enough to do it and I thought to myself I'll get back in the swing of it and have because my friends have encouraged me to and um, we've got a joint channel which is good 
it's, it's very good at the moment because we're getting more views, we're getting more subscribers on there. Um, the second reason why is because there have been some things that have got me down. You know, there have there have been a few things that have been getting me down, which is um unfortunate because I'm not one to shy away from anything. If I if I experience something's gonna hurt, then you know, I, I just get through it. I I work my way through it as best I can. And Unfortunately, it's it hit me more than I than I expected it to. Um, as you're aware, I had a bit of an absence for a while. I was mainly due to well, mental health related issues, and the whole reason of that is because I've. I've unfortunately experienced a few losses in the past, the past few months, and it's, it's been draining. In a, in March, I lost um, lost a friend in Washington. Well, not Washington. Um, lost a friend in Alaska who I've been talking to for six months. Really got to know. Really nice lad. He uh, he uh, was he, he unfortunately passed away, which is it's awful. And then a few months later is when it started really going downhill because unfortunately I lost one of the I was really close to. And it's it's painful every time I remember it. Because I struggle to hold myself together and I'm trying to hold myself together on that particular cry video, especially before my birthday. And it's just tough remembering it. And none of this is scripted, by the way. This is all this is all straight from heart. I don't script my videos up, so it's it's genuine one thing. But um, working my way through it. Um, Queen Elizabeth II died a while um, a couple weeks ago. It was at the beginning of September that Queen Elizabeth II died. Uh, beginning it was um. You're actually an idiot, remember? Um, it was on the 19th because anyone born on the 19th wasn't able to. No, that's the funeral. Um, nine days. I, I can't. It was the 8th. It was the 8th, I remember now. Sorry, my memory's just <laughs> not that good. Um, yeah, it was the 8th that Queen Elizabeth II went. No, um, it was. It's gonna be tough for the UK because of it. Well, when I say for the UK, it's going to be tough for England. Scotland and Ireland are... Well, Scotland and the Republic of Ireland are just celebrating. Canada's... Well, Canada is just like... Oh no. Gone. Let's just... Quietly mourn while we work. England got a free day... Uh, a free bank holiday as a result, and we will continue to every year on the 19th for some reason when really it should be on the 8th and uh yeah and America and Australia are just celebrating as well as quite a few other parts of the world and the UK which I find to be I, I wouldn't say disgusting that people are celebrating because there are some people who have had a wake 
for the Queen, but I, I find it a bit, I find it a little bit disrespectful that there are people who are partying and cheering that the, the, um, the Queen's dead. Because it's, she, she was a mechanic in World War Two. And she did her part to help out as best as she could. Because back in World War Two, women still weren't allowed on the front lines unless they were nurses. You know, and no, we've, I, I have suffered quite, quite a bit because when, when my nan went, that was the only time I'd ever taken a break from like adult making. The only time, yes, I'm an adult developer. I've started trying to, and it's. It's um, it's tough doing that, but you know, it's you know, women and women. It was the first time I'd ever taken a break from Adam Berman. and I just I felt like punching holes in the walls in my room that night. That is how. That is honestly how I felt. That I'll, um, I'll probably elaborate on it more tomorrow on the way to work. It's um, it's gonna be tough for a little bit because I did have quite a close bond with that, and for something like that to be broken is it hurts. It really does. But, you know, life moves on. We have things we've got to deal with. We've, um, we've all got things we're suffering through. And, as I say, every time in really videos, if you guys ever want to open up something, to open up about something on the channel, leave it in the comments below, because I, I do actually see all the comments. I may not reply to all of them, but I do see them, and just remember if you're struggling, just, you know, we're very open accepting people here, and if you're struggling, just, you can talk about it, you know? Not a lot of people do actually get a chance to talk about things like this. God, I think it's become more of a therapy video and not like a, a um, not not ranch video, which is just that's what this video is about. <laughs> Jesus has gotten a bit sappy. You know, as I said, if you guys just if you guys need to get anything off your chest, just comments are always free, always open. Um setting up a Discord server, there will be a section in there where you can talk to us about these things. And we will respond. Because me and my friends we're very we're open, we're accepting we do try and help out the best we can, even if we can't help out. Which is... Being honest, they've... My friends have been really one of the biggest helps throughout this whole time. Because... They... I've known them for years, and they've been through thick and thin with me. And uh, yeah, my uh, my parents have also helped me out through it as well, as as best as anyone can, because it's, it's kind of I don't know, it's it's not the sense of loss, it loss itself, it's more the sense of shock, even months after. That's uh, that's what really gets people, and. It's still lasting with me, and I think it probably will be for a long time. There probably will come a time where I do end up by leaving YouTube for a few months because I'm trying to sort out a schedule or something, or or a family event. Even though I don't plan family events, they they usually plan out by the rest of the family for some reason. Because I I am no good at planning family events. I'm not good at planning anything. 
and um, I'm not going to cover that up. I, I am very, very, very poor at planning events. I mean, I, I can barely get my YouTube schedule in, in check by myself. But yeah, anyways, enough about that. So uh, let's go on with the video. So, it, God, this is going to be long and tedious. I've been recording for almost an hour. I need sand for the, for the glass and, and the windows. There we go. I'm hoping that's going to prevent any, uh, any wandering dinosaurs from getting in. Because I, I don't particularly want that to happen. Like, I don't particularly want any wandering dinosaurs to come in, just being hungry to feast. Yeah, it's currently... God, i a little bit tired. It's currently 9.46 where I live. Yeah, this isn't like a tutorial or anything, but I'm gonna give it a bit more depth just to remove these all at the bottom and probably at the top as well on some parts. And just completely fill it in with oak stairs. That was literally just a baseline guide for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, uh, no, I got off an extra shift at work this far, and I took it up because, you know, everyone's got things they need to pay for. For a lot of people, it's bills they need to pay for. For me, it's probably saving up for a car, for a place of my own. For bills when I end up having to pay some. And, uh. Yeah, so. Yeah, we've, um, yeah, we've been having quite a hectic. quite a hectic year so far. I don't know why I'm still. like, I don't know why I've not got an axe for this. It would be so much easier. Now we got wooden axe, we can, we can get this wood down faster. Easy. I really do not like the fact that this lags so much on my laptop. And it, it's not because the um because the marketplace having it itself. The marketplace having it itself is amazing, great specifications, everything. It's just my laptop being a laptop. The frames are down a bit. I mean this never actually happens before when it's like this. At least not on Minecraft. It's uh Yeah. A bit weird. No, don't want that. Um, no, I don't want that either. Here we go. Craft up some more stairs. Go. Got this. It's lagging so much that I'm having to place them one by one. I haven't known having to place stairs down one by one in Minecraft since I uh, started playing it, really. And I started when um, 
back before it was better opposition. I saw it back when it was um back when it was just Java and Pocket and it, there wasn't this Windows 10 Bedrock or Windows 10 Pocket Edition. It, it wasn't any of that. It was literally just Java and it was literally just Java and Pocket at that time. And there was, there was no online servers for uh, people to troll others on. There was nothing like that. It was really, really, really fun. Because uh, I remember you know, friends from the primary school used to play Minecraft quite a lot when we were younger. And uh, we went to a restaurant and played Minecraft, tricks one of my friends into standing in the door trap. That was back when you could actually break the bottom of the world in survival. Which is, it still astounds me to say how that happens. Alright, anyways, uh, not much left to do on it, on the, uh, on the little cabin. Oh no. Oh no, I've just done goof like crazy. Well, there's an easy way to fix this. Um... If this will let me mine it. I don't want that. Don't want to slap that in for this. Um, wrong way for the oak stairs. I'm now making very minor mistakes, which are going to irritate me. And there we go. Go. I know. It's not the best that I can do, but I've done it. Uh, right. So still got the stairs, which is good. Uh, I don't particularly want to build a second floor to this. So what I'll do is I will. Now, I, I'm not an expert when it comes to building Minecraft like this, because 9 times out of 10 I follow tutorials. But when there's no tutorials to help you on it, you just do the best you absolutely can. Here we go, I'm not actually doing too bad with this. Despite all the lag that's going on with the laptop. I'm uh, not actually doing too bad. It's not the best, but I'm not looking for it to be the best looking ranch ever. At the moment, I just want a nice cabin on here. Don't particularly need windows. Well, to run the laptop, I do. It's almost 10 o'clock where I live, which is a, 
Which is England. It's, uh, it's kind of the best place at the moment. Liz Truss is unfortunately wrecking, wrecking the country because, the, I mean, what politician doesn't wreck the country? Except Senator Stephen Armstrong, he had a point in Metal Gear Rising. Go, that's gonna be good. No, I don't particularly want that there. Let's get that slab done. Oh no, I'm gonna be stuck outside, aren't I? Uh, have I got any more slabs? Oh, I've still got. It's going to be a bit tight on the slabs, but, you know, it should be okay. Alright. Not my absolute best, but it's looking decent, <laughs> especially for me, without a tutorial. Uh, I do like to not use tutorials as much to build when I'm on Minecraft because it doesn't well, using a tutorial, yes it's good for quite a few things. It doesn't really let me get my creative side up, to be honest. Um, I don't have enough slabs. Oh I, I might do I might do. If I do this Why is it oh, What's the stair there for? Oh, yeah. I forgot about those. Um, if I do this very, very, very wisely, then technically I could have enough slabs. Um, I don't know if I will. I'll have to have a look. I am a little bit tired to be honest, but you know, not giving up on the ranch, not yet. Jesus. Um. Oh no. No, we were just about to have enough slabs. I, I crafted way too many stairs. Uh, right, is there something I could do to get some more slabs? I don't face the ones here. Got to be kidding me. There we go. So, um, yeah, care if my dad's here. 
kind of the reason why I wanted to end the um the video at like ten o'clock, so I wouldn't I wouldn't disturb her. Do I have any more stairs? No, I do not. This is not gonna go down well. Um, I didn't think this one through. I forgot about those stairs and that. Oh, well, I've got enough slabs, anyways. It's not the prettiest build in Minecraft, nor am I expecting it to be. I'm one out. I have one. Slab out. Um, right, what do I do about this? Do I? Uh, what do I do? What do I do about this? Um, one slab out. Uh, For replace that one. And I've got to remove all three of these slabs, just because you know. Just because I want it to look kind of neat. And I've only got five left, which is, uh, it's not enough to do those corners, but it should. Do the trick to help me with this. There we go. I can't exactly add subset to make it even. Um, not the best that I could have done, but it's looking pretty good. Did this thing just drop? <laughs> that thing just dropped off the roof. I don't know if I caught that on camera, but I don't know if I caught that on camera, but I think the iguanas have just dropped off the roof. Yeah, so that's that's the cabin all done. It's an hour long of me just building a cabin. Uh. I think I may have wasted an hour of my life and think that it's completely worth it. Because as I said once, uh, as I said, I'll say it again, this add-on is really good. It's it's not free because, you know, it's on the marketplace. God, I'm tired. Sorry about me on it. Yeah no, um, yeah, no, this add-on is really, really good when it comes to something from the marketplace because you, you look at it, how many things on the marketplace actually have Nigel Marvin. So, Compi, if you're watching this, which I, I don't know if you are or not, but if you do watch it, then congratulations on getting Nigel Marvin to voice in the add-on because he's a really good guy and this add-on just because of that is like instantly one of my favourites. Oh my phone's on like um you know this add-on is really good. It, it's five it's five great British pounds on the marketplace in the UK. Um I don't know how much it is in America because you know conversion rate I don't know that kind of I don't know that kind of stuff. I don't work for finance. Once again, I do not get a job in finance or in customer service. Uh, yeah. So I I know it's been a long video. I know it's kind of boring. But um, hopefully the next video is going to be more action packed. What is it? See what I mean? See what I mean by it being action packed? This dude was, this dude was in my tent. 
Is this? You wanna mess around with it? You wanna mess around with base with me, yeah? Flipping heck! Mm hmm. Let's end it with build action. This one I made mad. This is probably the one I made mad. Oh god! Oh god! It packs a punch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did not realise it. I think it's pretty short there. Anyways, guys, um, <laughs> that's gonna be it for me tonight. Probably recording for about an hour. I'll get the video edited easily. Um, yeah. Um, not gonna do that again. <laughs> not gonna, not gonna hit the guanador again, ever again. Just, just remind me of that next time, next video, because I'll, I'll probably forget. Anyways, um, that's it for me tonight, and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care, lots of love, peace as always, and what was that? I want to end this off on a meme right now.